What, What is up, everyone? Welcome to Candle Play. Good hearts and God sense. It's Simon once again, and welcome to our channel Canva Play. Here we will share Canva design tutorials, tips, tricks, and hacks that will elevate your Canva skills for free. For those who are new to this channel, you can subscribe to our channel if you find it helpful and get updated on the latest posts we share here from time to time by turning on your notifications. Let's pose for making image effects for today and focus on the text only. In our previous tutorials, we design images by applying various effects. The question is, can we design a text and apply effects on it too? The answer is yes. I know a lot of you are familiar with Word Art in Microsoft Word. In MS Word, the text effects means applying the special formats to the content such as an outline, shadow, reflection, or glow, while changing the number of styles, ligatures, and stylistic sets in typography settings. Typography as art is concerned with design. Therefore, we will design the text by applying different settings and aesthetics to attract the audience's attention solely to the text. Today, we will show you how to make gradient text effect as our first text effect tutorial in our typography series. I received DMs from my Good Hearts community asking me how to create a text with gradient colors. Though, with Canva's variety of letter frames now available, you can create it easily. But what if you want to use other fonts that is not available in Canva's letter frames? This is what I will show you in this tutorial. But first, let me show you the sample that we will create. I am now in a blank Canva design editor. Before making my text effect, I will set my background first. Since I will make a gradient text effect today, obviously, I will use gradients in these designs. I will search in the elements the gradient colors I need. I need recolorable gradients, meaning I can change its colors to any colors I want for my gradients. I need three kinds of recolorable gradients from elements. The first one, go to elements and search for gradient tricolor square go to graphics and look for the first gradient i will pick the this one the first one with the choices under and the keyword for this is gradient tricolor square i will make it as my background by resizing it to occupy the whole page. I will now change the colors of it and use any colors I want. But here in this design, I will use my brand colors. So, I'll go to this color section and I'll change the first two colors to yellow, the third one to red. Perfect, that is my first gradient background. The next step is, I will create my second gradient background. Go to elements. This time, search for square design element. Go to graphics. And I will look now for my second gradient. I will pick the third one in the choices under. The keyword for this is square design element. Like what I did in my first background, I will make it as my background too. And using this, I'll resize it to occupy the whole page. Now, I think it's already good. I will change the colors of it and make the first one, this one, Going to the default colors, the first one I'll change it dark blue, and the second I think 
I should go red. Here. This is my second gradient background. Then I will create another and my third and last gradient background. Go to elements. I will search now wide recolorable gradient. I'll go to graphics and I will get the first one in the choices under. The keyword for this is wide recolorable gradient. Like what I did in my two previous backgrounds, I will make it as my background by resizing it to occupy the whole page. As I did in my other two backgrounds, I will change the colors. The first one, go to default colors and I'll choose green. And the second, I think orange is perfect. This is my third gradient background. Looking back at the three backgrounds I made, I want to explain what I did, why I did these three different gradient backgrounds. It's because in creating the gradient text effect, I have three options in doing them. The first option, this vertical stroke using the first background. Second option, horizontal stroke using the second background. Third option, diagonal stroke using the third background. Are you ready? Let's now apply the gradient text effect to a text. I'll go to text. Add a heading. And now I'll type the word gradient. I'll use my favorite font, Anton. Change its color to white. And I'll change the font size to 207. There is no specific position for this text. You can position it at any place of the page. I suggest you place it in the place where gradients is more obvious. I place mine like this. I position it at the middle part. And I'll, position, I'll change the transparency of the text to 40. I will now copy this text, duplicate it first, then I'll drag it under on the, my other two backgrounds. I'll position it where the gradient colors are more obvious. Same as the third one, the third page. Now, I'll go back to my first gradient background. Okay, I will now download them one by one as PNG and upload them back to Canva. Now that they were on the uploads, I will create three new pages and delete the three backgrounds I used. Now, drag the 
PNG images that I uploaded on each page. Now I will remove the background of these images. One by one, go to edit image and remove their backgrounds. If you are using the pro version, you can automatically remove the background under edit image. If you are a free user, you can use the free alternative background removers like remove.bg or sticker mule. The links of these alternatives are in the description box below. If you want to have a Canva Pro account, I can also put the link in the description below that will give you access to 30 trial days of Canva Pro. It's completely free and you can cancel it at any time you want, hassle-free. After that, go to the first gradient we created, which is the horizontal stroke. And using this text image, I will change its adjust setting to make the colors more evident go to edit image find adjust see all change the settings to brightness negative 24 contrast 5 saturation 100 clarity 25 shadows negative 100 That's it. See how the colors became more colorful after applying the adjust settings. I will now copy the filter code of this adjust settings and I will apply it on the other two texts in the next pages. As my final touch, I will put a background for this gradient text effect designs. Here in the first one, I'll search for the keyword under photos. Let's go to photos. Search for floral. From these choices, I will pick this flower with a dark background. To emphasize the gradient colors applied in the text images, the keyword for this is Orange Floral Decor. Now, after dragging the photo to the design page, I'll make it as my background one by one on the other two pages again. Now, Going back to the first gradient, please note that the, the setting that I applied a while ago can be adjusted. If you want to change the vibrance of it, you can change the contrast of the text images. I will show you how when I finish the design. Now, let me first check the colors of the gradients. Here on the first one I created, I think there are no adjustments needed on this um, gradient text effect. On the second sample, I think I need to adjust the contrast of this design by going to edit image. Here in adjust, I'll just apply 85 to the contrast. Now on the third sample, I think I need more light on this. so. On the third sample, go to adjust and I'll um, adjust again the contrast setting, but now I'll make it 100. Now I'm done with the gradient text effect designs. I'll just crop this and align it with the 
background. Showing you again the three samples I made. Sample 1, Vertical Gradient Text Effect. Sample 2, Horizontal Gradient Text Effect. And lastly, Sample 3, Diagonal Gradient Text Effect. That's it! For more design inspirations, watch this. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to be updated with our upcoming videos, click subscribe. Drop your comments below for the tutorial you want to learn next time. Before I end this video, I hope I inspire your creativity. I'm Simon, your good heart VA, saying, sharing is caring. In behalf of Pinky, Gods, and VA, thank you for watching this till the end. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you don't miss the next video from Pinky with another exciting Canva tutorial. Bye guys, see you in the next video.